Hi Sagittarius, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Some of you are going to be taking a trip, moving. This can also mean moving forward with the ship card. Things are going to start moving if they have been feeling stagnant. Some of you are going to be moving your house or moving where you live, moving to a condo, an apartment, something like that. Some of you may travel to go visit family as well. Coming up here. I guess somebody you may also have to help with a family sale of a house or a estate sale. You had a crossroads for a new beginning. So you may be looking at homes or looking at neighborhoods or looking to move and you're thinking about moving. Okay. Some of you may find out that you're pregnant later this year and need to like, get a bigger place to live as well. That won't be for most of you, but okay. Having fun <clears throat> supported. Having fun is supported. Longing or decision. Longing to make a decision. Having fun. Play hard. It says find the time to laugh, goof, goof off, and enjoy each other. You may be waiting or someone's waiting for you to make a decision. Like There could be someone in your life who's a lot of fun, but they're not committing. Someone wants a decision. They're tired of playing around. They're tired of um, not having the answer. There's, you're gonna have to answer someone or something coming up here very soon. That's why the crossroads is here. Denying, denial, mastery. There could be someone, okay, there could be someone who keeps running you around in a circle who does not commit or does not give you an answer. The answer may be to forgive them and move on or forgive the situation and move on. You've already learned the lesson with mastery. So this is probably different from this, but again, if you have find someone who doesn't want to commit, they don't want to support you, you're longing for that, you're longing for the support, the decision, but all they want to do is be like the Knight of Wands energy, um, and you've gone through this a couple times with this person, or maybe a new person, it's the same repeating cycle, so just be aware, they're not going to change, they don't want to commit. What else is going on for Sagittarius? Key to new beginning is to have goals for a bright future okay and I get to take off some of you definitely you need to start something to move forward you need to take action and stop waiting uh, the key is a new beginning the key is to like make put your goals down write your goals down figure out what it is you want to do where you're going um, because I kind of like some of you are kind of at this crossroads do I want to do this do I want to go there you're kind of just drifting You could be receiving a key within the next month or so, three months to a new home, apartment, something like that, or office building. But if not, if that doesn't make sense, if you don't see yourself moving or buying something like that, then the key to a new beginning is to have goals that make you excited, to make you excited to wake up in the morning that like, this is what I want. I want to plan my life. I want to do this. I want to move here. I don't want to do this for a living anymore. I want to make these changes is what I'm getting. Goals that make you happy for your future. And one from here, treasure map. So it says, you're almost there, don't lose focus. So don't give up, look at, yeah, don't give up. Help is on the way. But I think you have to take initiative. But I feel like you think you have so far to go. Like, like hearing this reading, it's like, oh my gosh, so I gotta make this decision and that decision and I'm far behind and I don't, no, I don't get that. I get that you're almost there. Matt, write down what you really want what you're working towards, what your goals are, what would make you happy in the, like, if you were to wake up tomorrow, what would your life look like? What are you working towards? Maybe you have some of it, maybe you have none of it, but either way, that's, the, they're saying that's the key, is like to just figure out what you're doing. There you are right now with the hanged man. Some of you need to make a decision. You need to get clear on what you want. So you, some of you don't know where you're going. You're kind of just wasting time and waiting and you really don't know what it is. You could be waiting for someone from your past. I would say don't do that. I would say um, get clear on what it is you want with the Queen of Swords energy. I'm getting someone is going and looking at houses and you just, you're not really sure. I don't know if you even want a house. I kind of get, you may not even want a house. You may want to live in an association or apartment or someplace where they take care of everything for you. Where like if the heater breaks, they have to come fix it. Uh, you don't have to mow the lawn. You don't have to do anything. They come and take care of everything because you're in some sort of, you know, 
maybe it's easier than you know owning your own home i guess someone's like looking at homes but you really don't even want to buy a home you're coming up in in um, your energy here as the queen of swords you do have a king of coin here and a king of cups here some of you may need to get business advice. Maybe you need to talk to like a lawyer or an accountant or someone like that to help you with your finances as well. But this is probably having something to do with love with everything that's flying out over here. I see the hanged man. I don't know if he now came out in reverse or upright. Now there's a queen of cups here. What also came out is a devil energy and a wheel of fortune. There's energy here of people being stuck in their emotions or not moving forward. There could be a third party. I'm, I'm getting the strong message that if there's any type of energy like that, waiting, waiting for someone to make a decision to get out of a relationship, it's time to move on. I get time is wasting. Knight of Cups is in reverse as well. That came flying out. There could be a water sign around you who... Okay, maybe this is a good person. Maybe this is somebody new. Maybe this person is more about love and long term as opposed to, I thought maybe they were going to be greedy, but there's something disappointing here is kind of what I'm getting. Some of you may come across as kind of harsh or sharp. If you've been mad or angry or hurt lately, you may come across as unapproachable, but there may be a water sign around you or someone who's loving, let me say that, who wants to be in a relationship with you. Some of you are mad because you were involved in a third party for a long time, and it could be with this King of Pentacles. Love is not coming in, I think, with this King of Pentacles person is what I'm kind of getting. I feel like someone's maybe juggling you, you and another person. So listen to your intuition. There could be a Pisces involved. Yeah, I get being angry, being pissed off. There's healing coming in, but see things for what they are and move on. You may be waiting for someone to buy a, buy a home with you or something like that. Four of Coins, holding back, holding money. Let's see. It's time for you to go towards your dreams. This is what I'm getting here very specifically. Four of coins, ace of wands, the sun. What is in the hidden position? And who is this king of pentacles? Drama. They're drama. You definitely have someone around you who's drama. Um, it's probably for 99% of you a love situation, an ex, somebody that you do get, like you guys are arguing they're going to keep you waiting. This reading is so clear, and it may not be what you want to hear, but it's what you need to know. This person is keeping you stuck, and it's time to move on. They may be an Aquarius, specifically for some of you, maybe not an earth sign. It could be something to do with money. I definitely get there's a third person involved for some of you, but there's already someone here who, like, right away, this energy of this new person is very uh, loving, romantic, genuine they want something long term they're stable they're a life partner they're a past life soulmate with the two of cups here and they want a relationship they want commitment this person over here is not giving commitment so some of you are holding on to a dream when there's something even better that has new growth excuse me right in front of you because this right here the devil the three of cups and then a queen of cups either they're keeping you trapped in your own emotions and you're not seeing that clearly or there's a third person which i get there could be a pisces um, involved or maybe a cancer all right so you have excellent cards ex a good, really good reading here it's, what's going to happen to this person i get this person down here this king of pentacles energy is someone who's never going to find peace someone who's always going to be unhappy and like they they wouldn't like what's that saying like Something could be right in front of them that's really good for them and would make them happy and they wouldn't take it anyways. They always mess everything up. There's so many funny sayings out there and I don't know them, but they're, I kind of get, like, it, you could give them something wonderful and they would just screw it up. Just like, this person is definitely, <laughs> this person can spend a lot of, spend a lot of time online looking at other people, looking at their pictures, looking, even talking. It doesn't show me talking necessarily, but you know, like they're always like looking for the next best thing. They're always looking for the perfect thing, person. Um, they don't appreciate what they have. They never will be happy. They will not find that genuine peace in this lifetime. I can already tell. This person also is um, stuck on someone or something. 
and the universe isn't going to give it to them because they can't let go and they're obsessing well here you are I mean these other people could be you but here you are actually in your suit this person, see, see, this is the thing. There's too many games here. Look at how this person has their back. They're ignoring him with the Seven of Swords, but yet he is looking over at you. And it's like a game being played. It's like ignoring you on purpose. They know you're ignoring you. But you have better places to go is what I'm getting. Better things to do. Better opportunities coming in. Oh, we just had everyone showing up in your reading. You know what I kind of got right there too? There is a third person involved or an ex or something. And it's almost like, good, let them have them. They are going to be miserable together. This person is not faithful. And if they want to go back to an ex, let them go. Those two people are not happy together. It is a toxic, codependent type of connection that they will never get out of. And they think that they won, that they're happy, and they're not. Wow, kind of a kind of heavy reading, Sagittarius. I'm sorry. Um, what else do you do you need to know at this time? What is something positive coming in for Sagittarius? Just so you know, there is better things coming in for you. There is love. Just don't wait any longer. Go towards your goals. You're almost there. There's something better. I think this is like the final straw, the last, you know, little you're gonna notice this and just be like, I'm done. Don't let yourself get hurt again. It's not worth it. This person is is definitely playing games but I get there's going to be some heavy karma for this I think the sooner you let go and move on the sooner they're going to meet that karma someone is reminiscing about the past and the I don't know the friendship or the communication that you guys used to have together um, this maybe this person here or something hang on the sword in the rose Someone has someone else here, and for some reason the coffee cup reminds me, I guess, I guess because of water sign, the king of cups, the cups is what I'm getting. They've been thinking about something that the two of you did together years ago or some sort of memory that has been shared. I get maybe some of you used to, didn't you guys go on like nature walks or hiking or look at birds or butterflies or things? Um, someone's thinking about you. Someone who's done a lot of introspection has done healing work on themselves and is in a really good place, is going to be reaching out. They're in a good place, and I think you are too now. I think you're going to be very open to this person communicating. They could be a Pisces specifically for someone, but um, don't let that, you know, if you know a negative Pisces, that's probably not them. That's not who I'm talking about. Who is this person who's reaching out? They may dance or something or have something to do with dancing or maybe you do because I'm getting Fred or Fred Astaire, which that's way before my time. But um, honestly, it is. I'm not that old, but um, I'm getting and I do believe he was a dancer, right? Fred Astaire. So I don't know if that has something to do with it or a dance studio or something. But what is this person? What would they say to you? See, they remember every day, detail of that day. There was a specific day or week or weekend or something. I get you guys, you may have known them more than just a day or something, but there was a very special memory that you guys shared. I want to tell you how I'm feeling. They're starting to understand this connection and they daydream about a life with you. And they say they love you unconditionally, which is the best kind of love because you can wake up in the morning with no makeup hair undone and they just think you're the best looking thing on the planet but again I'm already seeing them thinking about the two of you I mean that's exactly what these cards show me home together relationship together um, finances or building a future together or something like that I do get you may travel with this person maybe do some worldwide traveling to places that you've always wanted to go so again if you're like hemming and hawing over buying a house you're like I don't if you really don't want to buy a house don't buy it I get that someone and you're thinking like oh I should have a house because it's a good investment and but you're like no I want to spread my wings I want to travel just wait okay because yeah that would be the better decision so I see healing coming in. I see you getting clear on what you want. I do see better days ahead of you coming in very, very soon, as soon as May. Let me go to this deck for you, Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, listen to your intuition when it comes to um, 
changing careers, investing money, learning a new skill. Also, positive work outcomes. It does say consistent efforts will bring in rewards and major purchase will be worth making. So again, you probably will buy a house down the way. It just may not be the one you're looking at right now or something. And as far as society, it says, say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming to you. Excellent time to network and a new love interest for singles will be the result. Some of you may be going to like some sort of, um, not meet up, but like maybe convention or could be a workplace thing. It doesn't have to be, but something like that. I'm also getting like maybe a, like a boat show or a home show or one of those types of places. I think now those are in full swing right now. We are back to normal. So after COVID. So anyways, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.